So let's take a look at solving equations by the addition method. And you might say, well, why do we need to learn a second method of solving equations? Don't we already know how to solve multilinear systems of equations? And the answer is sure. Uh, so here's a system of equations, 3x plus 4y equals 11, 2x minus 7y equals 14. If the only tool you have is a hammer, then every problem is a nail. So I have the substitution method, so I can solve one of these equations for one of the variables and I'll end up with this horrible expression involving fractions which I'll then have to substitute into the other equation and get another horrible expression involving fractions and it's painful all around. So if the only tool you have is a hammer then every problem is a nail even if the problem is trying to open a jar of pickles. So if you want to open a jar of pickles with a hammer I wouldn't recommend it. But as an alternative, we have a different way of solving the system of equations. What we can do is I can add the two equations. 3x is the same as 11. 2x minus 7y is the same as 14. If I add 14, it's the same as adding 2x minus 7y. And I can add equations together, and I can eliminate one of the variables that way. Well, in this particular case, if I add 14, adding 14 is the same as adding 2x minus 7y, that's not going to eliminate one of the variables, so I do have to do a little bit of preparation. And in this case, the first thing I might notice is that the y terms in my two equations have opposite signs. So if I can get the coefficients equal, the fact that they have opposite signs means that they will cancel each other out. So I can do this very easily by multiplying by the coefficient of the other equation. So here I have 3x plus 4y equals 11. And in this first equation, my y coefficient in the other equation is going to be 7. So if I multiply both sides by 7, then what I'm going to end up with as my coefficient of y is going to be 7 times 4 is going to be 28. Well, if I then multiply this second equation by the coefficient in the other equation, so that's going to be 4, then what I'll end up with in this equation, 4 times 7 subtracted, that's 4 times 7, that's 28, that's minus 28, and I'll have a plus 28 up here, I'll have a minus 28 down here, and when I add, those two will cancel each other out. So I'll expand my expressions, and I'll expand my other expression, 4 times 2x minus 7y, and now I'm ready to add the two equations. So again, 56 is the same thing as 8x minus 28y. So on the right-hand side, if I add 56, I can add something that's equal to 56 and not change the equality. So I'll add 77 plus 56 is 133, 21x plus 28y plus 8x minus 28y, the 28y minus 28y drops out, and I have 29x, and I have this equation which I can then solve for x, 133 over 29. And if I'm so keen on the substitution method, well, once I have one of the variables, I can substitute into the other equation, into either equation, really, to solve for the other variable. So I'll drop that in, I'll do some arithmetic of fractions, and I'll get a solution. And, well, I can do this, but it involves working a lot with fractions. So here's an alternative. If it worked before, it'll work again. I can try to get the coefficients of x equal but opposite, then add. So here, the coefficients of y were equal and opposite, so when I added, I got an equation in x that was easy to solve. If I can get the coefficients of x equal but opposite, I can add, they'll drop out, and I'll get an equation in y that's easy to solve. So again, here's my original system of equations, and I'm going to multiply by the coefficient in the other equation. So this first equation, I want to get rid of x, I'll multiply by 2. In the second equation, I want to get a minus, so here I have 6x, I want to get a minus 6x, so I'm going to multiply by the coefficient in the other equation, that's 3, but then I'll make that a negative 3. So multiplying this first equation by 2, that's my coefficient, multiplying the second equation by negative 3, that's my coefficient with a negative, and I will expand those terms out, and now I can add, 
and that gets me 29y equals negative 20, y equals tw negative 20 over 29. And so here I'm able to solve for y without having to go through a lot of fraction arithmetic.